Hi everyone, welcome back to my YouTube channel. Welcome back, Rich. Hello. And welcome back to Makeup Theme Tune. Maybe I'd say like, fake it till you bake it. I'm gonna say sorry for the light. This is just our kitchen. We're very lucky. We have lots of lovely sunlight coming through. It is terrible for filming. And as I warned you before we started this series, it's not about teaching you guys anything. We don't want to teach you how to bake because we don't know how to bake. It's just, it's more entertainment than educational. It's watching us learn how to bake. And I asked in the last video whether you guys wanted an apple cake or a honey cake. And actually there were votes for both, but I would say more people wanted the apple cake. I wanted the apple cake, so. I wanted honey. Well, we can do honey next time, yeah? Okay, fine. I think it might be a harder cake to do. Yeah. I thought we'd start with apple because it's like my family cake. Um, it was my grandpa's favourite cake. My mum makes it every time at someone's birthday or any occasion, and we both absolutely love it. It's actually a Mary, Mary, I always struggle to say her name, Mary, Mary Berry recipe. And it's from this book, which is hilarious. It's a cake making with Magic Mix book, because in the 70s they used to like bring out books specifically for a Magic Mix, which we're not using today. We're just gonna use the recipe. But this book was published in 72, I think. Um, there you go, 78. 1978, this book was published. And fun fact, I was invited to an event with Mary Berry and I asked if I could bring my mum. She brought the book along and she got her to sign it. So it says, Carol, keep on baking, love Mary. Which is so cool. This book is just so old school. Like, look how grubby this recipe book is. It's actually ridiculous, but it's a family heirloom, I would say. So this is her Swedish apple cake, um, and this is the recipe that my mum always uses. So, I think I've put out everything we need, but I haven't really prepped because Grey literally just went down for her nap and we were like, quick, 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 we have to film while she's asleep. She may wake up. Yeah, what we've forgotten to do first. What? Preheat the oven? No. I don't know. Wash our hands. Oh! Guys, we've washed our hands. I think we've got all the ingredients we need. I've preheated the oven to 180 degrees. Oh, you know what you also forgot? What? Scales. Oh, God. <laughs> okay, so peel, core, and quarter the apples. Okay. You wash them. No, no you're no, going to peel them. Oh. I'll peel. Oh, wait, what, what do you prefer? I think you're better at peeling, I'm better at cutting. Okay. Oh my god, I've read ahead and I'm already confused. Oh. Let's just take it a step at a time. So I'm just going to cut them. I just want a better way of doing this. I don't know what I'm doing. I'm just going to slice How them. How thin do you make it go? I think quite thin, but I don't think it's just personal preference. Woo! Okay, I'm going to fast forward us doing the apples because this is boring. Yeah. and line a 10 inch, it's eight fine. inch. Yeah, but it's fine because it'll just be higher. Loose bottoms, round cake tin with greased, greased poof paper. Grease poof? Grease poof. <laughs> do you use grease poof paper or do you just like butter and kitchen towel around the tin? You put grease poof paper on the bottom and you grease around the sides. So you grease, you put the paper in first, well, and yeah, then no, you grease no, the sides. No, you put the circle grease proof paper on the bottom, and then you grease the edges. Oh. Okay. okay. Thanks. Okay. Put the paper down. The... So annoying how they always fold. Yeah. Then my mum said just to get a bit of butter on kitchen towel and grease around the edges. Because how annoying when you like bake a whole thing and then at the end when you can't even get it out and you're like, okay, well, that was a waste of my whole life. Keep the apples in cold water until the cake is mixed. Oh. Oh okay. shit, because look, they're going brown already. I think that's greased enough. How do you know when it's greased? When it's greasy. Okay, I'm gonna put the apples in cold water. Mm. I bet my mum's gonna say, you didn't need to do that bit. Fix Using the metal knife, fix the bowl and knife in position. <laughs> what? Say it again. Using the metal Where are knife, you? fix the bowl and knife in position. Oh, I think that's like the uh, magic mix. Oh, the magic mix, yeah. Okay, so I've got KitchenAid. I got it for my birthday last year. 
Okay, so add the sugar. There, between 225 grams of caster sugar. Yeah, stop, stop. Hey, 225. Okay, add the sugar. Okay, and then it says beat the eggs lightly with the almond essence and add to the bowl. Well, let's just put it all in because it's, that's no. what kitchen aids are for. No, you meant to put it, beat, mix the eggs together. No, 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 that's what no. it's for. Okay, we can do it into here if you want. Yeah, and then mix it with the almond essence. Oh, one hand. No, the whole point is that you beats. Shell in it. Trick. Use the shell to remove the shell. These are very orange eggs. They're good ones. Okay, almond essence. Teaspoon. One teaspoon. Melt the butter and pour into the bowl. Okay, I'm gonna get a little like bowl to melt the butter in the microwave. 125. 125 grams. Whoa, I just gave you too much. Do you reckon? Yeah. How much? Do half of that. 125. We need 25 more. Oh! oh. 130. How long do I put butter in the microwave? Do it for like 20 seconds. Matt, no, less. I'm gonna start it slow and see what happens. Add sugar, beat the eggs and the almond essence. Melt the butter, pour into the bowl. Put half of the cake mixture into the prepared tin, spreading it. Okay, so that, that's the cake mixture. Once you've added the butter, that's the cake mixture done. Oh my god, so okay. This is the main difference between me and Rich when we are cooking or baking. Rich likes to tidy as he goes, which is basically what like good human beings do. I like to just like do it all and then eat, and then the house is a tip afterwards. That's how I cook. Okay, pour in the butter. Oh, it smells so almondy. Ten seconds. <gasps> Slowly. Oh my god, that just went everywhere. That's probably why they put cover on it. One Mississippi, two Mississippi, three Mississippi, four Mississippi, five Mississippi. Ten seconds, slowly. Rich, we're missing something. Have you meant to put flour in or something? No. This is not a okay. Put the flour and baking powder into the bowl. And then no. add the sugar. Oh my god, we missed that. You were reading it out. We missed that whole thing. I was like, this is not cake, Christian. This is like butter. Okay. Right. <laughs> oh my I'm god. Thank like, god we're not teaching people anything. This is naughty. terrible. Okay. Wait. You've missed the step. Put the flour and, and the baking powder. Level. Oh, I never know how to do level. I was like, this does not look like no. cake what's, mixture. What's a level teaspoon? That's that not level? level, that's heaped. Yeah, but how do you do, right. Wait, don't worry, it's not baby formula. Just go for it. One and a little bit more. This is sure? one and a half. Okay. Oh God, we've done this so wrong. Scales. Do you think it's going to ruin the cake? No. It's all mixed in. You've done it backwards. Oh, whoops. Got to... Keep going. A little bit more. So shall I do it bit by bit so it doesn't just go up and poof? Or do you think it'll be alright? Nah, okay, now this should look like a cake mixture. Do it slowly, slowly, slowly though. You added the sugar? Yeah, um, we did the sugar already. Yeah. One Mississippi. Two Mississippi. I know you guys think that I always make fun of Rich and the things he said because something in that France vlog I can't remember. It was how uh, you said. Can I just? Say, yeah, it's how he said croissant. Oh, look. Using this platform to get your point across. I wasn't making fun of him saying croissant. Like I know that's how you say. It. He croissant. was saying croissant. Like it was a quack. quack. That's what I was making fun of. Croissant. Anyway, last night we realised that Rich thought the song goes, row, row, row oh, your yeah. boat gently down the stream. Oh, she's awake. Merrily, 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 merrily. Life, Life is, is butter, butter dream. He thought it was butter, butter. dream. It's like buttery, melty dream. I'm gonna take a little spatula and just like get all the flour that's on the edge and like scoop it down and then just mix it all together again. I'm wondering if you could over mix something. I think it's all right. I remember when I made this last time, it never feels like you've got enough mixture to like put it on the base, put the apples on and then spread it on top but you have to kind of just make it stretch. Oh my God, I haven't baked since not being pregnant. I can eat the butter. Very exciting. I'm gonna mix it a bit more because it feels a little bit grainy. Okay, then what you have to do is basically separate the mixture into 
two halves. I never do it evenly. I normally do it straight into the tin, so this time I'm going to do it into bowls and see if that helps. By the way, did I mention that my family are so good at baking? My mum's amazing. My sister Carly's just amazing at cooking, so she can naturally bake as well. And then my other sister Jojo is so good at baking. She's one of those people that makes like rainbow cakes, like just for fun. So um, hoping none of them watch these videos because they'll just make fun of me. <laughs> Because I'm the youngest, I think they just like forgot to teach me anything. Hello, did you have a lovely sleep? Did you? Our child only naps for half an hour, so we were never going to be able to bake a whole cake whilst she was sleeping. That was never going to happen. I've made a mess, but I've put half the cake mixture in this bowl and the other half in this bowl. So, okay, whilst Rich was grey in her high chair, I'm going to take one of these bowls and pour the cake mixture in and then spread it out on top of the greaseproof paper. Rich, try the cake mixture, it's so yum. Okay, I'm trying to just very, it's kind of naturally spreading by itself actually, but I'm gonna just try and like, encourage it to go to the sides a little bit, so it's not raised in the middle. Gray, do you want some apple cake? Oh my gosh, she would love apple cake. She's not eating yet, she's just staring at us eating, going like this. Someone's ready to eat though. <laughs> I think that's, that's kind of like spread. Okay, so that, now what you do is you lay them, like little half moons all going around, but like slightly on top of each other. I've seen my mum do this. So it's like this, can you see? Oh my gosh. Yeah, it's a bit, it's quite fun actually, it's a bit. I think we've done way too many, but it's fine. Better to have more than, I mean, you know what we could do the rest of it? I mean, apple sauce. the rest of this. Why don't you add some water to it? No, because you're not meant to do that, but it's just really tricky. So what Jojo said to do is to blob it like all over so that it's, rather than like putting it in the middle, do you know what I mean? I'm gonna like blob, it's just, it's quite thick. It's so hard. That looks everyone, so thick. Everyone always finds this bit hard. Now I'm gonna spread, oh, I just have to do it really delicately because I don't want to move the apples underneath. You look really um. Do you know what comments, awkward. do you know I'm gonna get comments saying? What? Not let Rich do any of it. <laughs> row, row, row your boat gently down the stream. Come on. Thanks. Bake in the centre of the oven for one and a half hours. Mum pointed out that ovens are much quicker and hotter now. Our oven's really hot. Until golden brown and risen and slightly shrinking away from the sides. Okay, so let's have a, let's put it in and keep an eye on it. I think when it's golden brown, we can put like a little wooden stick in. And if it comes out clean, it's ready. That's the truth, I know that. I'm not that bad at baking. Okay, we're gonna play with our water and clear up and we will come back to you soon. Bye. Okay, the time has passed. We had soup and bread for lunch. Rich made some apple sauce. I just realized that does not look like apple sauce. It's literally like solid. Apple schmush. I'm sure it tastes yummy. A bit of maple syrup and cinnamon in there. The cake is ready. It took about an hour, so not an hour and a half. And when we checked on it, it looked like the outside was cooking a little bit faster than the inside. It looked like it was burning a little bit. So my mum recommended just putting um, some greaseproof paper on top to stop it burning. Side note, we found these in our drawer. Why did we not use the pre-cut ones? I have no idea. I wasn't sure whether to take it out of the tin and put it on a drying rack or not. It doesn't say to do it in the book, so I think I'm gonna see how it is when I take it out. Uh, Rich is just trying to put Grey down for another nap. Welcome to our life. Um, let's see. It's one of those tins with like this on the side, so you can just open it up. So it's gonna be really hot, I don't know. <gasps> oh, that is so clever. Try to remember if my mum normally flips it upside down or not. Shall I try and just see? I'm gonna flip it onto this cake stand. <gasps> that was a terrible idea. Oh my God, I nearly broke the cake. How do I get it off the metal bit? I think you're all meant to flip it, but maybe just onto something that's not as heavy as this cake stand. A chopping board? Oh my god. Oh my god, it's really slippery. Okay. <laughs> I just don't think this is how you're meant to do it. Feel the paper off the bottom. I think my mum doesn't flip it. So now I'm going to take some icing sugar and just sprinkle it on top. <gasps> nope. Just remembered what my mum does. She does not pour icing sugar straight onto the cake. She puts it into a sieve and taps it. Okay, can we just like ignore that bit that I just did? 
I've like almost ruined the whole cake. Why? I like took it out of the oven and I tried to flip it onto this and the whole thing dropped. That's because it has a loose bottom. No, I, I loosened the bottom. Anyway, you'll have to watch loose. it back. I started pouring this on and then remembered that's not what you no, do. You sip. <laughs> yeah, okay. So here, you pour and I'll tap. I'm really happy to have you back. I'm a nervous wreck when you're not here. Whoa, 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 okay, okay, okay. So look, tap, 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 it makes it all snowy. Perfect. And also, guys, ice and sugar hides every okay. mistake, including that crack there from when I almost dropped the cake. Oh, it's cracking. Told you. <gasps> it's fine. This is what the cake looks like. It has cracked, which I think because I didn't leave it to dry, to cool. Dry. <laughs> What about the height? Good height. Good rise. Okay, I'm going to cut in. Oh, I think it is overcooked because it's very crumbly. Oh, yeah. Oh, my mum's does not do this. Oh, it's not that bad. Okay, let's, let's get some cream. <laughs> Really? Yeah. Is it like oh. a... Oh, sorry, reduce. Like reduce. <laughs> okay, go Ready? for it. Yeah. No, wait. It wait. doesn't come up. It's like an M&S ad. No, but it's actually a Waitrose cream. Whoa. Okay. Why did you put it on the end? That's the worst cream pouring I've ever seen in my life. Okay. What is that? No, stop. You're going to ruin it. It's already ruined. I've had this cake my whole life, so... It looks like yellow. It is very yellow. Maybe we time to do it. Oh no, the eggs are really orange, remember? Oh yeah. Compared to normal eggs. Ready? Mmm. Mmm. It's really good. It's moist, it's apple-y. Oh, alright. It's really good. Oh my god, it's so good. Mmm. Ow. Oh my god, I've just got my eye. Oh my god. We are pros. I think that's better than mum's. What did we do different now? Mmm. Oh my god, go, go. It is really good. We have to take it with the barge Yeah. Mmm. Oh it's so good. But I always think things are good and then let's see what they say later. Mmm. It's such a good appetite. Mm. Thanks for watching. Thank you. Let us know what you want us to do next. If it's honey cake or something else. Not too Wait, complicated. What please. should you make? Honey cake or meringue. Oh, is that too good for us? Are we not good enough yet for that? Tiramisu? No, I don't like tiramisu. Really um, honey cake or cookies? Cookies are easy. No. But the brookies. No, because you've done that. Oh. Um, what about like a cheesecake? Ooh. I don't know how you make cheesecake. Exactly. Who knows? But like New York style. New York. Vanilla cheesecake. Okay, would you like us to make honey cake or cheesecake? Leave your comment down below, vote, and we'll see cheesecake. you next time on Fake It Till You Bake It. Do, 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 that sounds like a circus. <laughs> it is a bit of a circus. Bye! Bye. Walk out of frame.